It's the best medicine, isn't it? What is? Laughter. No, medicine is the best medicine. You were a doctor, weren't you? So, uh, it's, it's, it's all good, positive, uh, affirmative stuff, and it's kind of like, you know, getting bits of the old crew back together again to do the kind of things we used to do, I think, quite well. Um, but obviously, there's a, there's a fairly, fairly serious undercurrent here. Uh, why, why is this so important now? So, contingency planning, it's always been important. In particular, it's, it's very important now because the standard of living is going up, things are more expensive, um, people seem to be getting more illnesses and uh, as, a, as a, an economy um, there's not very many benefits for you, uh, for anybody, if they get sick, they get ill, um, the statutory sick pay is only £109 a week um, and after that you're kind of on your own. So having a policy in place is hugely important and we always stress this to clients to make sure that they understand the consequences of not having some kind of policy in place. It's also in, uh, incredibly important that with powers of attorney, um, that those are in place with families, particularly with couples, to ensure that if you can't make decisions for yourself, that there's someone else out there, um, a loved one, a friend, a relative, that can also make those decisions for you. You can, you can come in two parts, uh, you can have a health and welfare uh, and you can have property and financial types of LPAs. And these are very easy to put in place, they're not hugely expensive and they are very, very important when the time comes. Cool. Uh, and I wonder if there's any synergies here. What, what, what I tend to notice is people come to me uh, because they're looking for a safe pair of hands with lots of experience in, in managing money that can explain the complexities of the economy and how it's affected them personally. Um, could someone go off and do contingency planning just for themselves? Absolutely. Um, and it's, it's something that we should all have in the front of our mind um, when we're doing financial planning. Um, sometimes it's put to the back end of the process and actually it should be moved right up to the front end of the process. Um, they can go and do it themselves, they can go online, but the, the, the issue is they're not going to know exactly how much cover they need, they're not going to know the type of cover they actually really need, um, and they don't know the ins and outs of all the different policies and the different types of types of policies they can have as well. So it's really, really important that they seek specialist advice. I, if, I wouldn't go and try and do something that was specialised if I didn't have those skills. I'd go and find someone to do that for me. Um, and that's what we do. We, we take that area of planning off of people we do it for them and we make sure they're protected. Contingency planning is something that a lot of people will put off. Uh, it's something that they never feel that they are ever going to really need, um, especially if they're younger, uh, they feel they're invincible and unfortunately everyone knows someone out there that's had something really bad happen to them, either to do with their health or someone's died and then it's too late at that point. So what we try and do is to make uh, our clients aware of the need to make sure that these types of this type of planning is put in place right at the beginning of the financial planning process. Once it's done, everything else can can be um, taken care of. But it's hugely, hugely important, and we we try and make sure that if someone doesn't want um, an insurance policy, that they understand the consequences of those actions, not just for them, but also for their family as well. You know what, this actually seems like a really big subject. Do you think we should do a few more of these? Absolutely. Okay, we'll do that then. That'd be a good idea. It's a laugh, isn't it? What is? That coffee noise you might get your back of your throat when something's funny. <laughs> <laughs> See?